Hey, uh, Jackie Platinum, Joke Page Martling, congratulations. Well, oh, go ahead. Congratulations to you on your wild comedy <laughs> CD. Is that written there, congratulations? No, I, I threw that in. It makes him feel good. $10 <laughs> plus $3 shipping and handling. Price includes full color joke land catalog. Call 1 800 323 5464. You got to see Jackie. He runs out of here now every day. So if you get home to. He gets home, he has a beach near him. His daddy. And he has. It's like Gilligan's Island. A piece of wood floated up on the beach about a year ago. Please. Now, let me just tell this. This is the greatest. I'm in the middle of your plug. It'll help you. A real piece of dock. Certified dock. So, a year ago, a piece of dock floated up on Jackie's beach. And like Gilligan's Island, you know, in Gilligan's, in Gilligan's Island. They utilized. In, in, oh, during the big flood, yes. In Gilligan's Island, whatever would float up on Gilligan's Island, like a radioactive tomato, yeah. seeds, anything that would float up, they would make something out of. And like the professor, he was always taking coconuts and making generators and stuff right, like right. that. Right, right. Jackie oh. gets a piece of wood, <laughs> and you know what he generated? A piece of wood. <laughs> and so he took the piece of wood, and now he has all the, the, I guess, the bums who hang out in the middle of the afternoon on the beach with him. They're not they're bums. bums. Well, why do they have free time in the afternoon? It's a Sunday afternoon. Oh, on Sunday, he gets the whole town together to scrape uh, the barnacles. Friend. Ken has a Kawasaki jet ski, and he helped me tow in the thing, and then his eight friends from Brooklyn helped me flip the thing up onto the beach so I could scrape it down and paint it. All right. So put it back in the water. God, what happens out there, though, if, if when you come out there sometimes, are people using your piece of wood, or do they leave it? Everybody loves the float. So if you come out there, does everyone get off because it's Jackie's time no, to use the float? No, no. No, it's Are you sort of like the, the guy in charge of the book? Anybody can use club. at any point. <laughs> so what happens if you get out there, let's say, this afternoon, and there's like two guys laying on it? There won't yeah. because it's on the beach. No, the, there's plenty of room yeah. for anybody that wants to use it. My daddy, get off! Shut up, I am the general yeah. of the float. Did you scratch that? So in other words, if people don't go, hey, there's Jackie, he's really, this is pretty much like his thing, and he's going to be on the jetty for the rest of the afternoon. And how much time do you spend on the jetty? Seriously, like, do, will you spend like the whole day on it? Am I really entertaining? Is you swim out to it and you hang out on it. How long would you say? People come up with their jet skis and water skis and go off it and on it and jump off it and then swim back into the shorts. It's a something to do. Thing. It's something to do. Something to do. <laughs> you climb onto the. Did piece you ever of have a float in your pool? Yes. What do you do on it? What do I do on it? Not much, them. because usually they're deflated because my kids punch holes in them. <laughs> well, you can't punch <clears throat> holes in my dock. I see. So, in other words, you'll jump off the dock and Dive then... Dive off it. Or, or someone pulls up. Stand up on the ladder. And so, what I'm saying is, so how long will you spend t time a day with the jetty? Like a half hour? Yeah, not so much time. You feel Are you like you yourself on it? There. You know, if I'm a little hungover from the night before, maybe I'll All come right. out in the morning and... Lay on the dock. So and, uh, uh, there are days that you, there are days you get out there, and there might be two or three people on it. Yeah, sometimes it, can, you take a little cooler out there with some sodas and beer. So you and swim out, out with the out. cooler. Sure. Right. Yeah, I put the rope in my teeth and I drank the cooler out. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. Now I got a couple big inner tubes. This is unbelievable. My friend Barry brought a couple of big inner tubes and we swim out. You know, you know, Everybody you know the big inner Barry. tubes that inflate. And hey, just mention Barry. That'll be good. He'll be happy. He's my pal. You know, you know why I'm doing this. Gary came in during the commercial and says, how long will it take uh, Jackie to mention two or three of the buddies who help yeah, him yeah. Well, with the jetty? Well, you started it. If and it's going to make you stop, fine. How long will it take to mention two or three of the buddies? I said, oh, I, I can make that happen. Ken and Barry. Barry. I said, Gary, I can make that happen inside of 30 seconds. My gardener He Barry. goes, let me see you do it. I said, okay, I'll just get him talking about the jetty. You'll hear his buddy Billy. And Jerry. Jerry. Billy the gardener. All right. Barry, the uh, computer wizard. Friday night, June 17th, Jackie will have pictures of the jetty at the Comedy Cabaret oh, with him. Good. He'll be selling pictures, actual pictures of the jetty. My people. It's a dock. It's a float. And the jetty Dover. is a group of You're rocks. the one who calls it the jetty. Robin started that the crap. Dover, I, Delaware. I don't even know the word that jetty. dictionary. Is. Jackie will be in the Dover, Delaware, Sheridan Inn for information and CD samples. Call 516-9321. Jetty is rock. Are you going to bring pictures of it? Jetty. Yes, I, I have taken pictures of it, and I'll bring them in a couple days. It's probably uh, medical waste. Mm. Yes, yeah, washed up. Whoa. Jackie, like Gilligan's, I like the professor. I'll make this into a piece of wood. It's not a syringe. If I find a needle, it's going in your heart. <laughs> we could, we could lay on it. That's right, <laughs> Ginger. Hey, I'll invent recreation. I spent a hundred <laughs> bucks on paint yesterday, Alfred. <laughs> professor feces. Ah. Copper paint well, to we'll keep the barnacles away. Sure. Maybe you could float on it. What were you doing? What were you doing? Like scraping barnacles off it? Yeah, I flipped it over and I scraped all the barnacles off. And today I'm going to paint it with. What will happen if there's a barnacle? The boys at West Harbor Marine so he ate the barnacles. Ah. What happens if you, the barnacles accumulate on the piece of wood? Well, well if there's too many barnacles, then when you 
fool around on the float. If you bang into them, you cut yourself up. I see. So this is uh, barnacle resistant paint. Mm -hmm. And then you flip it over and prime it and. Good for you. Dark gray. Glad to see you so busy. I'm priming the jetty. Yeah. <laughs> Relaxing. It's good exercise. It's almost ready to launch for this season. <laughs> oh, it's just skin cancer. Don't worry about it. What is it, Gorilla? <laughs> Jackie, invite Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. What was that? What? I, I, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Before you, before you even start... Jackie, Jackie, like invited everybody out to his house on su for Sunday. Yeah. To um. Go ahead, Gorillo. Yeah. Right. Uh, he invited everybody out. He goes, look, if you come on out, you can help me uh, clean out the jetty, and we'll have a party. So it's like you come out and work for him, and he throws you a party. Right. That sucks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. There's no problem. <laughs> I, I, I won't have blisters on my hands. Bleeding. Stay in Brooklyn. Bleeding. Stay in Brooklyn for the weekend. Drown yourself in the sink. Bleeding. <laughs> He's another one. He's got a trailer upstate somewhere. Yeah, Carrillo has weird recreational Ooh. habits, too. There's a trailer <laughs> that he goes walk to. to where I go. Yeah, there's a trailer, and him and his buddies go up there. Guys, all guys, yeah. no girls. Yeah. Let's drive ten hours so we uh, can hang out in the trailer like homos. Yeah, and they sit there in the trailer. And what do you guys do in the trailer? Just get loaded. And you drink in the trailer? Well, no, we just have, like, a little campfire. Yeah. And you drink. And we yeah, they, they, they're just not... It's like a campground. It's like an upstate New York. Yeah, you, you, you sit on a piece of wood. You bull. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sit on a piece of wood. It's no bigger than the desk in the office, man. <laughs> Is it really small? Is that right? I, I, I you don't need a big one. <laughs> Get out of here. He had AstroTurf on it, too. <laughs> AstroTurf! <laughs> Bob Fulton put the extra turbo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gorilla, get out of here. Right. It's like a UN Jaggy. <laughs> trailer. I'm going up to my trailer. You got the voices mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I do everything in Jackie's voice. For MP3 audio and 3D uh, joke man, visit jokeland.com. So you hear it now, John Benet Ramsey's father is under suspicion again? Yeah, they think he might have disturbed the crime scene when he <laughs> up on her body. Yeah. That's a joke? That's not a joke. I think that's for real. Oh, my goodness. It's my observational humor. I wrote that on the toilet. <laughs> hey! Man, you're, you're the terrible one! one. Mm. What? I just came up with one man thing. Mm. Oh, what do you think about mm. God, Renee? Oh. All right. You woke up, Fred. <laughs> Pray for Christmas. Stocking stuff. <laughs> the John Benet one joke. <laughs> it's going to be big. All right. Play your own charity golf game. Right hey, hey, that was very sweet of you. <laughs> hey, yes, this is funny, uh, and I'll tell you why. I'm hearing all about this from Gary, who's the only one who can remember stuff. <laughs> so Robin has a charity. And she does nothing. <laughs> I donate everybody else. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's good. What a gal. <laughs> so one of the things that they it's one of these charity auction things people donate money for. How much so how much money to grand, huh? All right. Yeah. So a bunch of Wall Street dudes won the right to go golfing with stuttering John, Jackie, and Gary. Yes. Yeah. And uh the Wall Street guys, you said nice guys? Yeah, nice. And, not only did it cost them seven grand just to get us there, hmm. we went to their club, which they paid for, rented club for us. The guy brought us to the pro shop and outfitted us. Wow. wow. These guys yeah. didn't have the proper clothes to go on the course. Yeah, these guys. They were, they were proper clothes. I mean, nobody told us what did to Did Jackie wear. have the right clothes? Oh, yes. Jackie. Well, I can't hear you. What? Jackie did have the right clothes, but still took the, the uh, free clothes. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what is, when the guy outfits you, what did he hey, buy you? We bought uh, <laughs> uh, shorts and a shirt, but I, I looked at the price tag. The shorts were like 60 bucks, and the shirt was like 90 Wow. <laughs> so the guy was gooping on Gary because, you know... You know but if you buy in the golf shop, it's always a lot of money. Right. $90, you know, for the shirt. Right. No. That's then, crazy. Then, of course, they took us out to dinner. They bought us beer all day, and, you know, everything... Yeah, Gary said these guys were loaded. Yeah, yeah. Wall Street guys. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, Jackie and John were loaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you well, loaded on honey. You know how John always says, like, he doesn't drink during the week, and he's having all these hemorrhoid problems, and I say later to drinking... Gary said these two guys, especially John, was so loaded. <laughs> he was slurring, slurring. It's in a, and Jackie was slurring too. Me. You were too. What's going on? I thought you don't drink during the week. How many, uh, how many, I know, but, but it, was, it was a, it was a, you know, a circumstance. We were playing golf. A special occasion. <laughs> yeah. I was. I was celebrating my birthday. And, uh, you know, it was a special day. Today was your birthday. 
I know, but you know, I was hoping that James was not your birthday. <laughs> what? I was hoping that you know the day would go until today. Yeah. And the wackiest thing of the day, Howard, I got to tell you, how many beers did he have? Oh, oh God. You, it had to be between ten and fifteen. Oh, Gary! Come on, and then you smoked oh, weed, right? You and Jackie. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, that was well. You know, that's what put me over because you know. Oh, no, I'll tell you where his problem some good starts. <laughs> where does his problem start? He's, I, I think he's normal because I'm whack. <laughs> right. When we get to dinner, and the guy can hardly keep his chin off the table. He orders more. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, you don't think you have a drinking problem? Yeah, I, was, I was having a good time. And Jackie was drinking just... Jack, and Gary, you were drinking. I had one beer the whole day. I was drinking club soda. Because what? you know what? Gary said to himself, I gotta go to work the next day. Yeah, no, I got home at 9 o'clock. And I even said... I, I said, didn't, I didn't stay out later. Either. I had one beer. I'll go home. I'll walk into work exhausted the next day. And John will walk in happy. John walks in. He's like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm he's not exhausted at all. Yeah, he's not exhausted at all. He's not exhausted from drinking. No. But, you know, it's really weird that if you do anything that John does, it doesn't mean you're doing it to excess, but if you do it, it means he's all right. No, but John loves to drink, and John becomes... But that's cons I've seen John in action, and he becomes consumed with getting that drink. Like, as soon as you get there, he's always like, hey, where's the beers? How are we going to get beers? He's like we went to the drinks right away. We went to the dysfunctional family picnic, and right away, it was John saying to me, y you want beers, right? No, I, thought, uh, I thought you uh, wanted it. Did you, yeah. yeah, and you were real worried about me. You, you, you want was. beers, right? Let him get his own beer. Yeah, I'll get beer. And the other funny thing... He's just one of those kids that says, beers... Right, uh, but the other funny thing a about your beers, it's, it is it is pluralized. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't know why. Yeah, no, I'm going to get some beer. Pluralized. No, it's plural, not pluralized. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, um, yeah. Okay. But it's funny because John's. Uh, the other thing that's funny about John, I noticed, is that his taste in alcohol is a lot bigger when somebody else is paying. Right. So also it's like, I'll have a uh, Kettle One Martini. Great you know? Goose. Yeah. Yeah. Great Goose. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And, 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 and that's ridiculous. It wasn't because any, what do you think? I drink any less if, if I'm... So what happened? You guys went out at 1 o'clock in the afternoon with these guys. Right. Yeah. Uh, John starts drinking beer. Right away, was he like, where's the beer? Well, pretty much as soon as we got outfitted and we went right over to the clubhouse, oh, right away the guy said, "Gary shops like a woman." Yeah, no, I'm a chick when it comes. I can't they decide. They on him because he's like, I could it's a half hour. Yeah. I can't what? What? He's like taking a year, he's picking shirts, he's trying them on, he sees he likes it, it's like, you know, just take something and go. Dude, look at yourself, what are you worried about? That's well, not funny. Yeah, what, are you gorgeous? No, no, I couldn't, Put on anything. I couldn't decide what color. And, you know, on, why, you, do you think you look better in other colors? I don't know. That's what the no. guy said. Man, Gary just put my clothes, and the guy goes, Gary, do you see what you're wearing? In the meantime, <laughs> John, John, <laughs> let me tell you something. John gets the shorts and the shirt, and he tucks the shirt in the front, and his belly is so protruding. <laughs> right. I mean, when he, he walked out, everyone goes, Not hey. nearly as big as your lips. Oh, yeah. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, the yeah. funniest thing is Gary shot for half an hour, and then we got back to the locker room, and he goes, Oh, I thought I bought shorts. I bought long pants. I bought long pants. <laughs> I had to go back. I had to take them back. And so how long does it take you to get dressed? Yeah, we were done in 20 minutes. Oh, then, man. Howard, then the shirt he picks is bright yellow. Right. All the guys in the course of goofing him call him... Flashlight. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, You're unbelievable. Why bright yellow? I don't know. Do you, you think you look tan in it? I just like the shirt. He looked like the sun. <laughs> All right, so anyway. It didn't look like it took him half an hour to pick it. Did you guys goof on him the whole time? Oh, yeah. We, we never saw each other. Yeah. We oh. immediately split into three different groups. Oh. Like, each one of us oh, got assigned to a group, so I hardly saw these guys while we were gone, but John was behind me. Yeah, so we were goofing on him, but he didn't hear us, but, you know. You know. Oh, I see. Because Gary was saying, and, and rightly so, man, you've got a drinking problem. Oh, we know Jackie does. I don't but. know that you have a drinking problem, but I do know that you can't enjoy yourself unless you drink. That's not it's true. A, I mean, God, to me, I'm not, I don't love golf. So the only reason you go golfing is... Gary hits it right on the head. You cannot enjoy yourself unless you're drinking. You become consumed with getting a beer. You do. You do. Admit it. You, you're, right away, you're like, where, where are we going to get beers? we got to get beers. If, you're, be if, beers. if yesterday was alcohol free, it's just not the same day for you. I, I would hate golf if I if I had to, you know. Hey, you would straight. hate everything if you couldn't drink. Right. I, I mean, Howard, I'm not, I'm not that in love with golf. The only reason you get in your place is to hang out and have a few beers. <laughs> he, he's not even here. Even Jackie says his head is almost hitting the yeah. table and he orders a martini. It's not like he one. needs another drink. He's right. really, really drunk and slurring like I crazy. I wasn't driving. I, you know, what do I care? <laughs> He wasn't driving. Jackie no, was driving. There's no reason to drink on the golf course. It's so beautiful out there. You don't have to slow oh, yeah. it down. There was, there was, there was airplanes flying over every 10 seconds. It was like it was beautiful. And Jackie and John are, they're, they're oh. crammed in a Norton. They just bicker and bicker about everything. I know. I didn't start. There you go. Yeah, it's, you know, I got to tell you, it's almost like it's not Jackie. What were they bickering about? Just everything. stupid. Just, you know, no, Jackie goofs on me constantly. Yeah, Jackie goofs on no, John constantly. Gonna... And John fires back, and then it's and then it sometimes it, it goes to jokes, you know, one up, one up, and then sometimes it's not so funny. Right, right. Well, we could be with a gang of people, and all I have to do is go. 
That's sorry. Nobody else even hears you. Like Niagara Falls. You can play quietly in the car. There's a plane going. Like, you don't even. You don't even have to work hard to piss him off. Yeah. So we're out having dinner, and there's this. So like Jackie thinks. The tells us that this guy tells you know good stories, right? right. This guy's gonna come in, but Jackie thinks it's. Jackie gets the wrong guy, so this old guy comes over to the table. Jackie's like, "Come on, tell us a joke." The guy's like, "Oh, I just had a kidney. You know, you're gonna remove like, you know, I, I don't tell jokes." Jackie's like, "Come on, tell us a joke." The poor guy's like, "I just had a kidney removed. I don't tell jokes." They got the wrong guy. Jackie gets the got the wrong story. So Whatever. You got loaded on the golf course, <laughs> and then well, you smoked weed before dinner. Yeah, you know, Jackie. Yeah, when did the weed come? Jackie, what? Well, that's in the car on the way to dinner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Jackie, what? No, it was funny because yeah, we were. Pa- I, I guess I can say this. You know, we were passing the weed from car to car. <laughs> the, 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 the I'm sure the guys would really appreciate that, John. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say well, they didn't smoke. You guys did. Yeah. Well, hmm. <laughs> well you know, and, and then you, and then you, and then you go to dinner and you order a martini. What? The first day was a couple of beers, and it was like you had three martinis at dinner. No, I had oh. no, you had more I had than one. one. I didn't drink the other one. Oh, he ordered uh, two, but I, I so much. One. No, I didn't order. He just brought it over. I guess he thought that's what I wanted. But after, to drink it. after the first martini, I went back to beer. Right. <laughs> so he didn't stop drinking. Oh, of course. Really, John. Jokes aside, how many beers did you have yesterday? I told you. I would guess. Um, I probably had about six to to ten while playing. Right. But then a martini. Maybe maybe another maybe another five at dinner and some weed <gasps> and weed and, 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 and <laughs> you don't think you have a problem? I would say I would say two joints. <laughs> Gee. Two joints. How do you? And you know what's funny? I, I can't take a, a hit. He doesn't even see himself because what happens? He has a hat on, and the hat comes off, and his hair. He puts it back on, but like the hair's all disheveled. He looks like a like a wacky scientist, and he's breaking. His hair's all over the place. <laughs> no, I was sitting next to the guy who paid. I was sitting next to the guy. Who I like paid. this is for charity. Yeah, Howard, I'm sitting next to the guy who paid, and I, at one point I looked over, and John was like cross-eyed, and his nose was like in his like, food, and I hit the guy and said. Seven grand, right there. <laughs> <laughs> what an entertaining <laughs> evening. <laughs> it's just they seven. got their money. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time, and there were a good bunch of guys, you know. Right. One, I had one beer the whole day, probably like on the third hole. Right. Well, that's you know, the that's John. A you know, thing. it's it's a whole different thing though. You John, know, celebrate. Well, you know what, the guys, the guys heard me bitching because they were asking me about you know what goes on here and everything, and I was definitely bitching. I mean, <laughs> you know how you always talk about the lead singer in the band? Yeah. That's how I feel among my group <laughs> right. because. You know, if John's late, or even if Jackie's late, it's no big deal. But if I'm late, it's, it's a bigger difference. I right. get, you know, it's more crap, and I help get the show prepared. So I always feel like I have to restrain myself to make sure that I'm in on time. And these guys don't seem to care about it as much. Yeah, no. I was fine on time. I mean, I, I didn't, didn't affect my job. <laughs> so, who knows how it affects your yeah, job? You see how he's locking up today. He yeah. always stutters worse on a night after. So we like here. that. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. He's functioning better. <laughs> Do it <No>. for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Take the bullet. No, what, and then what did you do when you got home? Did you go back to Long Island or you stay in the city? I had some more no, I stayed in the city. He you doesn't did. have a Long Island home anymore. Oh. <laughs> no, I do. But you I went into the city? He's got two homes. But he's getting Island. rid of the Long Island. He's moved into the city. Well, yeah, I'm thinking of... of uh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to give up your Long Island home? Well, well it, it's, just a, it's, just, it's just a business move. You know. Oh, you go tight on funds? Lack of business move. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just... <laughs> lack of business. <laughs> no, here's what... Yeah. Tell me what's going on. What I think is going on is that John's wife, as an actress, <laughs> is trying to get work. No, she's worse. Sorry. As an actress <laughs> trying to get work, I think, I think she would feel better in the city. I think the suburbs probably isn't her bag. They got the house. They gave it a try. They moved into the city to have an apartment. In the You're going to raise two kids in that one-bedroom apartment? Yeah. Oh, no, I got a big apartment now. Where did you get a big apartment? In the same building that I've been in, but now How I... How many I, bedrooms? I just, it's one bedroom, but it's big. <laughs> <laughs> it's big. It's not a small one bedroom. It's, 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 it's a big one bedroom. So the kids are gonna have their own room. But how, what, what is it? The kids are gonna have their own room. Yeah. With, so you'll have the bedroom. Each kid gets no, their own they corner. Have the bedroom. And where will you guys sleep? <laughs> I, I turned the living room, which is really big, into a bedroom. And the, but let me understand. It. Start again, Gary. Ask him those questions. Okay, how, do, how do you turn? Okay, the kids sleep in the bedroom. So now you have one big living room. But how do you turn that into another room? I, you put up a, a curtain, right. and then you have a, and then you have a, a, a bed in the back, and then you have a curtain, and then you have a, a, a living room. It's going to turn that apartment into a tenement. <laughs> it's like ba- it's like backstage at the theater. With wow. curtains and so each kid, as Jackie said, each kid gets his own corner. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And, and I have a house, and I'm not I'm not not going to have a a place in in in, in a. In a, in a, in a. <laughs> I'm just going to downsize it. You're going to downsize a little. He's hoping Jackie will give him a house. I have a huge house. I don't use half the room. You see, so there's just rooms that I don't use. 
Really? I didn't know that. Did you know it was a big house with no... no it didn't look that big to me, and it looked like each room was filled with tons of junk. You know, did you ever go, did you ever go upstairs? Yeah. You have it unpacked. Yeah. yeah. Upstairs is a little bit bigger, but downstairs, you're right, there's a room that I think is supposed to be the game room that just has posters in it and a lot of stuff that's unpacked. Yeah, I, yeah, right. I, I was supposed to put a pool table in there, but I just, you know, yeah, could have been I, just, I just never got around to it. Right. So now he's going to put up curtains in the living room. i got to see what's doing. I'm going to go over there. <laughs> oh, I, I'm definitely going to have a party now. So. Good. Yeah. Good, I want to see that. But the kids won't be home that night, right? Of course not. They're going to be home when I'm having a party. Where are you going to put them? In the closet. <laughs> <laughs> in a drawer. <laughs> Don't suck on the moth. Still okay? <laughs> Sarai, Sarai. Yeah, I remember when he was going to get the pool table. It was either the pool table or pay taxes. <laughs> so he went with the taxes. Or beer. Flip the coin. Or beers. In, in the Daddy's an alcoholic. No, I'm really not. Really? I, I mean, I don't drink all the time. You could quit any time? No, yeah. he couldn't quit. We determined that. We asked you if you would just stop for a month to see if it would help your hemorrhoid, and you said you couldn't really do that. <laughs> your hemorrhoid. My hemorrhoid's fine right now. <laughs> he couldn't quit between the Utopia Parkway and the Midtown Pine. <laughs> <laughs> look, I mean, look, look who's talking, you know. Well, he's an admitted drunk. Yeah. It, yeah. And you drink more than him, <laughs> so what do you think? He knows he can't stop. <laughs> he got my truck. <laughs> he went to the deli as we were going home and bought an extra six-pack for the ride. Oh, Wow. <laughs> we were out again. <laughs> is that true? How does that help the car? <laughs> they put it in the tank. <laughs> if you would have seen the two of them, you, you wouldn't have let either of them ride in the back seat. <laughs> 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 Jack, oh, you were, that three signs you were slurring too, just not as bad as John. That's funny because John has Jackie as his that. designated driver. <laughs> I think right. I <laughs> yeah, John throws it on Jackie. He's like, you're driving now. I'm just going to take funnels of alcohol. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was his last word. Just his nose went into the march. Yeah, I'm not driving. <laughs> and then he had five more beers. And you know, Howard, I have to tell you, you know how you hate taking pictures? Uh, the restaurant that we were at, they had mm. like the Wall of Fame. Right. And it was really, you know, they had everybody from like Penthouse Pet, <laughs> Leslie Glass, to like, you know, guys who were in The Godfather, all these different guys. <laughs> yeah. And we look up there, Jackie actually pointed out, there's a picture of you from around, you know, 1987. Your hair is huge. Right. And you're wearing the black leather jacket. Both right. then, then they Then they took a picture of Fart Man that they cut out of a magazine. Oh, dear. Mm. And then it says, uh, Howard Stearns and Tony. And Stearns was spelled S T E A R N S. Yeah. It's a beauty. Hey, Jackie, joke man, Martin, to order Jackie's 78-minute CD or cassette, only 10 bucks plus free shipping and handling. Price includes 20-page joke land catalog in color. Call 1-800-323-5464. minutes rather than 80. I don't know. I thought, I thought a CD only held 70 minutes. That's the most the CD can hold. 78 minutes? Spoken word. So every So you sure it's 78 minutes? Absolutely chill. Good for you. Was it hard? She wants to sleep with a black guy. She's dying to sleep with a black guy. She goes to a bar, has a few drinks, meets a black guy, brings him home, brings him in the bedroom, takes off all her clothes, lies in bed, spreads her legs, she says, I, pal, do what you do best. So he grabs the TV and runs out the door. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Too bad no uh, black impression. The music is the best. Yeah, he was doing the woman. <laughs> yeah. This Thursday, one big show at Rascals in West Orange, New Jersey. <laughs> With Jake Thomas on keyboard. It's always funny to hear Jackie with music behind him. Jackie and Jakey. And for information and raunchy jokes, call 516-922-WINE. I love that music. Almost sold out. Almost all sold out, so please hurry. 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 He might be doing that joke live, the one you just heard. Yeah, he does such a great impression of a woman. All right, buddy. Do what you do best. Do what you do best. Do what you do best. <laughs> <laughs> so he runs out of the house, wait for TV. Look at that rapid fire delivery. I want to talk as fast as I can. Guys in bed with a girl. Guys in bed. Guys in bed with a girl. Black guy. She got a diamond beam with a black guy. Diamond beam, black guy. Got a black guy. Got a black guy. Goes out of the bar, gets a black guy. Sticks a gun to her head. What? Sticks a gun to her head. Goes out, jumps out of all the clothes, lays down, spreads her legs. Oh, can you say that again? How fast can he say that? Black 
Vai, cozinha, vem, vem, vem. Vai, vai, cozinha, vem, vem. Let me hear another joke from Jackie. Well, what a witness stand. The judge says, what happened? Just I was walking down the sidewalk and he grabbed me and dragged me to Alley. And he ripped off my dress and pulled down my pants and threw me over a garbage can. I don't even remember what happened next. The judge says, make some up. Make some up. Oh, <laughs> 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 Impression of Jackie's laugh. Let it play out all the way. Oh, okay. I like when you do that. Well, I have to overlap. Them. Never know when they're coming. He's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't laugh like that if you told him laugh like I that. I know. I tried yesterday. I said, do that laugh. Or he goes, oh, no, I have to be inspired. <laughs> I have to be inspired. <laughs> Unearthly sound. Yeah, un ungodly sound. Yeah, you listen to his laughs and you don't know where they come from. I know. I don't either. I don't know where they get these stupid sounds. <laughs> you know where I got... Scott sits back there just waiting on... No, you know where I got a lot of them? Remember that day you did that satellite interview? And we had you that isolated. Why it was so clean. Yeah. 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 I oh, took so them off I was, to there. So I was telling jokes and laughing at myself. Yeah. And that gets entertaining myself. Yeah. So I took them off. That, gets all that was you laughing at yourself. No one else. Ah, ah, ah. No way. No way. How do you know? How do you not bust a rib doing that? They are pretty varied. You gotta admit it's pretty varied. Wow, it's amazing. You have a full compliment. It's a rainbow. <laughs> I don't know. Me? Yeah, that's you. Maggie, you tell us what that was. Is that me? Can that be me? Is that human? <laughs> All right, enough. Let's let's calm down here. Chinese couples in bed. Uh -oh. The husband says, "I want a 69." His wife says, "Why you want beef and broccoli now?" <laughs> Why you want beef and broccoli now? <laughs> Why you want beef and broccoli now? Is this the slightest hint of an accent? Yeah, yeah. What you want, be a buckley doll? <laughs> what you want? What you want, be a buckley doll? I want a 69. Chinese couple to bed. What, 69? <laughs> oh, 69? What you want, be a buckley doll? What you want, be a buckley? 69. Jackie in a hoarse voice doing a Chinese guy. What you want, be a buckley doll? Woo! 
<laughs> Does he laugh at the end of that joke? Yeah. Let me hear that. A Chinese couple had a black baby named him something long. <laughs> <laughs> Look how he laughs at the end of it. Oh, wait a minute. An old guy is sitting on a bus. A punk rocker gets on. Punk rocker's hair is red, green, yellow, orange. He's got feather earrings. He sees a guy staring at him. He says, what's the matter, old man? Didn't you ever do anything wild? The guy says, yeah, one time I f***ed a parrot. I thought maybe you're my kid. <laughs> oh, one time I f***ed a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had enough. We've you got almost it. all 78 minutes. Yeah, That's if you do all 78 minutes, I'm going to order the tape. and then Jackie won't get any sales. Right. 1-800-323-5464. Congratulations to you, Jackie. Thanks, no, boss. Very funny tape. Thanks, boss. <laughs> 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 all right, very good. Jackie the Joke Man Martling, Jackie CD, 78 minutes of filthy jokes, only $10 for three shipping and handling. <laughs> Price includes 20-page colored joke land catalog. <laughs> Imagine spending 78 minutes of Jackie uninterrupted by my voice. Imagine having Jackie right there with you yeah. every day, whenever you need a joke, he's there. And this is Jackie's big wish. He doesn't want me interrupting him. So That's now... Like getting in the way of him and his audience. For fans of Jackie, now I will not interrupt. 1-800-323-5464. It's Jackie, Jackie, and then more Jackie. Those are my jokes. Oh, yes. These are all my jokes. Those are my lips. Thursday Drop night. Oh. The says, what happened? The guy's walking down the sidewalk and he grabbed me and dragged me to Allie. And he ripped off my dress and pulled down my pants and threw me over a garbage can. I don't even remember what happened next. The judge said, make some up. <laughs> there you go. Come on. And Jackie says, my impression is far off. Can we go back again? You, West. you know what, <laughs> Billy? You want to put out a, a CD that you could sell? Oh, that's just no. like and, and Jackie. Wait, 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 Jackie's going so fast. All you kind of hear is the the, the, the punchline somewhere in there. <laughs> Thursday night, August twenty fifth, is a big show at Rascals Comedy Club where Jackie feels most comfortable. Yes, it's home. <laughs> August 25th. Yeah. <laughs> Thursday night, August 25th, one big show at Rascals Comedy Club. If, if, if listening to Jackie isn't enough, then you can spend the whole the night whole with Jackie. Visual. Where I'm not interrupting. Yeah. Oh, you get to see Jackie. He's in the backyard. He says, Pop, Pop! Mom just got hit by a bus! <laughs> Son, you know my lips are chapped. Please don't make me smile. <laughs> Son, you know my lips are chapped. Please don't make me smile. <laughs> Thursday night, August 20th, for the Big Show at Rascals Comedy Club in West Orange, New Jersey. For info and raunchy jokes, call 516-9221 and uh, get in on the fun. <laughs> okay. I just can't do that one. All right! <laughs> I can go on with this all day, but there's a girl waiting to get naked. Oh, I'm this uh, girl called us yesterday. Oh, shut up, Jackie. Um, I wanted to ask you. Now, let me take some phone calls, okay? All right. all right. And then I got some really good tape to play of Stuttering John. I'll do that in a second. I'm looking forward to hearing that. Haven't I'm... heard any Stuttering John tape in a while. And then I got some funny Jackie the Joke Man stuff that you're really going to laugh. Really? Yeah. I got some good stuff.
if you want to, if you want to. You know, I love Jackie the Joke Man. Stuff. This is going to be the best stuff you ever heard. <laughs> Jackie the Joke Man on a cable television show, talking about his life. And oh boy! How he met his wife. And... What cable television? Was this the Jackie documentary? Jackie was given an opportunity to be on his own and, you know, and, and talk at great lengths about the history of Joke Man, and how really? Joke Man came about. Really? Yeah. How long a program was this? Like a half hour. And did it come? It was all focused on Jackie. Yeah, well, it's a cable show. I mean, it was like some guy in his basement, I guess. Oh. Or I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've just heard about it. I'll be hearing it for the first time too. Okay. But he he spends like half the interview talking about his wife and how talented and stuff she is. Because it seems that Jackie's now in that weird. He's been painted into a weird corner by his wife, where he ha he has to feel guilty when he goes on these shows. He has to make sure to promote his wife's career as much as possible. Oh, I see. So or his even wife yells he's at him. Getting exposure, he has to make sure. Yeah. She's mentioned. This is Jackie's worst nightmare. He's starting to be successful. And now I think his wife might be getting a little envious. Because mm. she's in show business, too, like Jackie. That's a, that's a terrible thing to have happen. You yeah. Know, to have show business come between you and your wife. Yeah, and it's like, Jack, you'll see, Jackie has to like, and, and don't forget, Nancy's great. And, and uh, please, don't even talk to me. Nancy's great. <laughs> you really should have Nancy on this show. She yeah. happens to be very yeah, talented, yeah, yeah, but come on, man. That. Your whole time, you're like sitting there going... But they wanted to know about the joke, man. No, but he is so pussy-whipped and henpecked. <laughs> this is my guest oh, now, okay? You, you hear it and tell me if you don't think the same thing. <laughs> and Nancy, oh... But if it wasn't for Nancy... Yeah, cause she must well, get home. Well, let me say Nancy once again. Yeah, that way when she sees the program, it'll be like, oh, okay, at least I got mentioned. I'm all over it. Yeah, I'm all over it. <laughs> he recognizes my work. Yeah, I mean, it was Jackie's opportunity to shine. He didn't yeah. have to be, you know, he didn't have to have that pressure on him. <laughs> it's funny. Could have concentrated on Jackie for a moment. What no. Oh, come on. Well, because then when, they, when he shows it to his wife, she'll be like, oh. Well, what about me? Yeah, I'm a star. <laughs> you could have mentioned me. Yeah. <laughs> it just hurts me sometimes, Jackie. You don't mention me. You didn't think about me once during this whole interview? You know, I, I work hard just because I'm behind the scenes doesn't mean I'm not working, too. Does Tom have my house bugged, too? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, pal, we all got our cross to bear. Right? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, but I'd like to be a fly in the wall at your place. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, my wife's always bugging me to uh, mention her on TV. You know what's very funny about this? What? <laughs> I don't know what show you're talking about because it could be any of them. Want to hear it? You All do right. a lot of shows, Jack. Yeah, well, Jackie, found those Jackie's very much in demand for these shows. <laughs> well, Jackie you know, does I every show. I never know if I'm supposed to tell you about them or not tell you about them. Why it's not, not like tell I do us them about them? It's all right. I don't mind finding out about it. The guys from the cable shows just contact me and play them for me. Well, no, that's fine with me. There's nothing really that oh, no. we won't touch as a joke. There's some things that I'm not as glad that I'm writing down and throwing up for jokes as others. This is Jackie on his career about writing jokes. Oh, is this about this show? I don't know, I guess. I don't know. Is Maybe this about general. this show, Jackie? Well, what other show does he write for? Maybe he's writing for his own show. He doesn't like the jokes he's telling. <laughs> Can't be hypocritical, you know what I mean? We take shots at everything because it's just a goof and it's just comedy. Like, when I'm on stage, mm -hmm. I'll be very... I'm dirty and I'm wild and I'll tell jokes about, you know, Jews this and blacks this and Polacks <laughs> this. But, you know... You know, I, I never say the word nigger. I never say <laughs> the C word for woman because I don't think I'm Why? hypocritical. It's just, it, it's, it's like hitting up people over the head with a hatchet. Huh? Mm. I'm confused. <laughs> of course you're confused. You haven't got a brain yet. Well, you can say Polak, but you can't say nigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it say nigger if you're going to say Polak? How old is it? I don't know. I don't. Harry, where's this from? <laughs> yeah, how old is it? Because he's some changed. Cables oh, I honestly don't you might have changed. He's changed his attitude. Yeah. No, no, I just don't say Paul. <laughs> I, I, I like Jackie's serious voice, like Jerry Lewis. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, because uh, uh, listening to this voice, you'd never imagine he could be funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is it? The way the documentary is is laid it's out. The documentary. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It's the way it's laid out is is um, Jackie speaks a little bit, and then they show a piece of stand up. Oh. That oh. relates. Uh, Right, that relates to what he was talking about. What is this thing? It's Rob Turner made a... Oh, a documentary about it. They were doing... They were going to do things where they did the semi-documentaries for Comedy Central, but Comedy Central didn't pick it up, and he was using me as his... Uh, I can't imagine thing. why not. Who wouldn't want to hear your philosophy? <laughs> <laughs> so well, that, this wasn't that long ago, right? It aired sometime between Two when we started ago. in L.A. Two years ago. Yeah, and, and the TV show was still on. But Jackie, Can we hear more? Yeah, in oh. every segment that Jackie's on, every time he comes back, 
He's wearing a different color Stump the Joke Man t-shirt. Well, that's, listen, he's got to promote himself. Absolutely. No Nancy t-shirt? No, no, oh, but you should have seen... He's going to be mad. You should see the commercials that ran during this thing. Oh, yeah? You know, for, like, local bakeries and local limousines. It was very local. I mean, sort of like our Channel 9 show. Ah. Sort of. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and around 1980, mm -hmm. 1981, whatever, just after I'd gone into comedy and I had a few dial joke machines, and I was just getting rolling, she was sick of her job. Ah, oh, Nancy. You met Nancy. Okay. Yeah. His beautiful well, answer. his business partner, I guess. His business partner. He came well, into the business. If you're going to tell the story of Jackie the Joke Man's rise, yeah. you must include his business partner, right. Nancy. He only had a couple of joke machines. Right. And was just getting into comedy. Right. Now let's find out how he met his business partner. No, the and entire world, up. the entire world, thinks that I picked her up hitchhiking. Well, let's find out the truth. I and love this joke machine. We can't wait to find out the story. <laughs> he not only tells how he met her and what she did for him, but he tells how but he I got her to her? how he got her to bed the first time. Oh, wow. Well. Hmm. Now we've learned more than I thought. It. Yeah, she's she worked in Kingdom you, Sound Studios as, yeah. as a studio manager, and she's real bright and real creative, and mm -hmm. and her hands were very tied there. And she saw what I was doing, and she really thought that together we could do a lot. So she said, "Hey, why don't I come work for you? I know you have any haven't got any money, but let's put our heads together." And so we put our heads together, and this was after I had broken up with her girlfriend. You know, it wasn't you know wow. we were already parted. But it was one of those things where she came to work for me or with me. Are we learning too much? I mean, is this way, way too much? Nobody <laughs> asked you. They asked me. Sorry, I had to pass wind. Go ahead. To look at it. You know, she wanted to be creative, but she knew there was a lot she could do for me and vice versa. And uh, vice versa. And vice versa. He could do a lot for her. He knew he could do a lot for her. She yeah. knew. She could do a lot for him. And, and vice versa. versa. And vice versa. <laughs> Vicey versa. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. I hope after uh, this we're playing Robin's last TV appearance so I can have a hoot, too. <laughs> no, this is the best TV appearance you've ever done. Away from each other. It was the classic, you know, working together, and then we produced shows. You know, yeah. we'd have the comedians, and we'd be the producers, and like, uh, you know, like I'd drop her off at her apartment, and maybe... You would think he was Bob Hope, the way he's... <laughs> or that he was married to Sharon Stone. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's unbelievable. Well, believe it or not, you know, she was running a recording studio, and... <laughs> she was really bright and really creative. It's all true. Yeah. <laughs> and she knew I could do a lot for her and vice versa. He has to make sure he gets that vice versa, and his wife yells at him. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I, you could do a lot for me. <laughs> I could do a lot for you, too, you know. And vice versa. Why didn't you say that, Jackie? If you have questions, I'll be at the Funny Bone tonight at 8.30. <laughs> and and you know, they kiss her goodnight. It was like, no, no, we can't do this. Can't, and that maybe happened one night, and then another oh. night, and... So Jackie would go to kiss her goodnight, and she'd say, Look, we have to keep this professional because this is such a big company. Hey, hey come on, let's kiss. <laughs> no, 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 we can't do this because, you know, we can't interfere with our work. We've been together all day. Let's have some sex. <laughs> <laughs> you must have heard the end of this tape. It's true. So, you know, it's like... But, of course, you know, as a professional, his wife... Oh, no. No, she's very professional. We can't do this. They're working in the basement together. <laughs> we put our heads together. <laughs> With Jackie's jokes. <laughs> There's conflicting rumors on it, whether it was a week or a month or six weeks or however long it was, but I hadn't drank rumors? Jack Daniels in years, and she hardly ever drank it. One night we were doing this big show at the Brokerage Pub down in the South Shore, Long Island, and I walked up to her and said, uh, you want a shot of Jack Daniels? She said, sure, which basically was... Do you want to come home and make love with me tonight without saying that, you know? Because uh, I wasn't drinking Jack Daniels. <laughs> Jackie's theory. That's how I know Jackie's date rape. Yeah. yeah. When a girl tells you she wants Jack Daniels. She says yes to Jack Daniels. That means she wants to make love. <laughs> it's the same as saying you want to go home and have sex. That was the signal <laughs> that she was letting me. She could have just said, I want to sleep with you. You wouldn't understand if you got Jack laid at Daniels. 19 and ran to the altar. You Jack know Daniels. <laughs> Yeah. If you say yes to Jack Daniels, that's a sure sign. <laughs> you know, that's the code. Excuse me, would you like some Jack Daniels? Well, sure. Hop on. <laughs> that's like, I, I've always laughed at um, Jackie's got the hat theory. Yeah. Chick with a hat always wants to sleep with you. Right. Because she wants to be noticed. I've never understood. No, but really, you always say, chick with a hat. Easy one. I maintain that. <laughs> She's wearing a hat. She wants you fascinated by this interview? Absolutely. She wasn't drinking Jack Daniels, but... It's like, hey, let's, like Red Fox used to say, let's, let's go, uh... Can you imagine this is on a documentary? 
This is like something they showed at Comedy Central to try to... <laughs> I got a lot of letters saying how yeah. entertaining this documentary was. Who'd you get these from? Nancy. Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> Just go make love and blame it on whiskey. You know, so we drank Jack Daniels and swung from the chandeliers, and she said I was the worst thing she'd ever had in bed in her life. So she went out to the Hamptons the day after we did it and then raced home to me. We've been together ever since. Oh, that's a love story if I ever heard one. We've been together ever since, and I better keep mentioning her because otherwise she'll yell at me. I guess it's not as romantic as stealing a, your wife away from her biker friends and marrying her on the third date. Th this segment explains what Nancy does. For oh, oh his wife. Uh, well, this will be interesting for all of us. So here's a documentary on Jackie, but 90% of it is about his wife. Okay. Funny bone tonight, 8.30. Ah. <laughs> will your wife be there, or Nancy's will you be there? the guiding force, but she's, you know... Nancy's the guiding force. It's all true. <laughs> Come on, Jackie, get with it. You're the guy with the jokes. I she hired you. I'm your guiding hard. force. What did yeah. she? How did she Come guide on. you? I want to know. Who's done better for you, her or me? When it comes to professionalism. Come on, why don't you answer honestly? What did she guide him to? Did it's she nothing. tell you to call Howard? <laughs> <laughs> no, he did that on his own. <laughs> He was speaking to one of his comedy friends at Garvin, sent me some records, and ever since then, Jackie's been successful because I've so it's, worked with him. it's him that's the guiding force. We put our comedy heads together, not yeah. him and Nancy, and we came you up with some good stuff. Nancy invited and you to Bert. my roast, which is what reminded you that you had listened to my albums, All and right. you called me after you got that invitation. Okay. That's a true story. All right. Is that true or not? No. Your first words I know, I've never me, even heard about your, your roast. Your first words to me in your life were, hello, Jackie, this is Howard Stern. We listened to your records. I got in, you know, I got the invitation to your roast. Sorry I couldn't make it, but we're having a, a talent contest over the uh, telephone today. Yeah. Do you want to come judge it? No, no. But that, the roast had nothing to do with me calling you. Me and Fred sat in an apartment and listened to your material, and I said to Fred, this guy would fit in. And you called me three months later, four months, yeah. six months later. Well, that's well, when you they know, got around to listening to That's when I got to it. You I got, didn't listen to the album for you. But you got the roast invitation like two weeks before that. So that <sighs> didn't prompt you at all? No. Fred, would you explain to this nut? We sat in my apartment in uh, North Shore Towers yeah. and listened to the... Listened on the way into when we were driving the Valiant. All right. I remember popping the tape out of the... Uh, yeah, after we listened to the record, right? Yeah. We said, records, he's as stupid as us. Those records will be available <laughs> He thinks he has a career. There's got to be something wrong with this guy. Uh, and I dreamt up a bit for you where you would come in and um, people would try to stump the comedian. That's what I wanted to do with you. So you've been well, we guiding that we didn't. I'm the guiding force. Did does he, he credit me? No. Oh, no. Nancy oh. is the guiding force. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I want to hear the rest of this. A lot of wives are guiding forces. She's the other half, as well as the guiding force, as well boy, as oh boy. keeping me in line, as well as well, that's smacking the truth. in the back and mm. me trying to smack her on the back. She smack her. In I the back. probably don't. Give her the push. <laughs> yeah, I love when he talks. Yeah. I smack her in the back. She smacks me in the back. But I really don't. Now smack he's about. Her in the back. Let me guess what he's going to say now. I probably don't give her enough credit. No, he's, he doesn't give her enough push. He doesn't uh, help her with let's her see. career. Let's see who's right. As much as he, she helped him with All right, his. let's see. He gives me because she gives me an incredible push. I mean, she's, she's like remarkable. I mean, everything that you see, the t shirts and the sweatshirts and the books and oh, everything, yeah, it's boy. all <laughs> us. And it's remarkable what we've done as two people. And I was trying to do a lot as one person. Yeah. But two people can do more than one person? Let me think about other You could have hired an assistant to do know. that, to make T-shirts. Where they had this much success together. <laughs> they got success when I basically took Jackie in. These two people did all of this. For a copy of that catalog, uh, it's called 516-9221. But when we got together, I mean, it just was like we're more than the sum of our two parts, you know. Mm. And... Uh, what is it? What kind of... He's like Lennon and McCartney. Yeah. <laughs> We're the Lennon and McCartney of the comedy. <laughs> the woman went and ordered T-shirts, and the guy's heaping 20... It, what it is is... She it... made T-shirts and sweatshirts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, she was the one who ordered the T-shirts and sweatshirts and designed them. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at our big empire. We got T-shirts and sweatshirts. <laughs> it's remarkable. <laughs> 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 It's remarkable what yeah, these people have done. No, he, went, he comes in here and writes great comedy material for me. That's what fuels the whole damn thing, so she can sit there and design T-shirts all day. So there's money for T-shirts and sweatshirts. But boy, she must Jackie, you better mention me. It's remarkable. It's not even like that. It's like sort of like, I picture it going down like this. 
Oh, that was a good appearance. Yeah, really good. Well, I guess I, I should have mentioned you. You are 100% of the time. 100% of the time. <laughs> I really have nothing to do with my own success. Trust me, if you left her tomorrow, you'd be successful with your empire. You would hire someone to make T-shirts and sweatshirts. <laughs> no, the T-shirts and sweatshirts would disappear. <laughs> oh, no, that, that whole part of his empire would disappear. <laughs> No offense, Jackie. You can oh, go on just unfair. fine. Not unfair. You're unfair. Okay. What deals are we negotiating here? Like we'll go and like when we're putting together a video or something. It's like a world war, and all of a sudden a great product pops out. You know, and it's it's very weird Who being married. I Who farted? I smelt it. He's talking about his tape. Who farted? I smelt it. Sold into the dozens. Thank you. Uh, Nancy and I will beat each other's throats creatively, but I'll tell you, we never take that into the bedroom. <laughs> And then what comes out is, who farted? I smelled it. That's <laughs> true. And being lovers and uh -oh. being business partners, but, but lovers, it works. Lovers, you know? lovers. I mean, uh, we, spur, we spur each other on, but, but she's, like, a, she's wild. She's wild. I Boy, still don't know what you pussy only... whipped. Are you pussy whipped? Christ almighty, if I had to mention my wife that much every time I went on Letterman, I'd shoot myself. <laughs> I gotta take a break. I can't take it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk to Jack. I gotta smack him. I gotta give him sodium pentothal. This wasn't letting. All right, but still, it's your opportunity to talk with that wife every minute. I talked when for an hour. When did we get to find about, out about the joke man? <laughs> yeah, when did we learn about Jackie, the real think, joke man? I think Mr. Babatuthi conveniently skipped over <laughs> that forty-five minutes oh, and no. gave you this. No, party. he gave me the whole thing. No, it's all coming. There's, there's much more. Whether he plays it or not, I can't promise you. But it's oh, all there. there it's all there. Baba Toothy. Baba Toothy. <laughs> Lash out at the ones you love. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. You want to hear more of this? Oh, yeah. Here you do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm too much fun. <laughs> you weekly installment. All right, we'll take a break. And now, I'll... don't think for one second. I'll get, a little, I'll I'll get to phone calls right after this. This is some interview he did. A documentary. Yeah. And it's just very funny because it's like, it's like listening to the serious Jerry Lewis. Yes. Do you want to hear Jackie? No worries. Do you want it? Yeah, his voice is. Uh, and look oh. at the things he discusses. He discusses his house and entertaining guests. You want to hear that? I want to hear about that. Okay. Listen, let me say something. Yeah, we finally got this house, and uh, the first thing we did, like, she held me down and made me agree to let them expand our kitchen. We knocked out our porch. We put. <laughs> it's. It told you everything includes his wife. Well, yeah, but why is everything like a fight? I don't know. They're fighting. She held, she me, held down. me down. Made me expand the kitchen, and she fought with me about uh, our last video project. The first project. thing she did was make me get rid of the porch. Yeah, and people are always <laughs> making him do stuff. And you saw that porch. She did the right thing. <laughs> Some porch. Happy Yoakum had a nicer porch. Yeah, you expect to see Mammy Yoakum in a, in a rocker on Yeah, that. right. Mammy Yoakum with a pipe. <laughs> yeah, we had to expand. A nice big kitchen, because we like to entertain. You know, and, uh, entertain. They like to get S-faced. <laughs> Pass friends, out. But you would never understand. It's fun having the gang over and making lots of lobsters and lots of steaks and always, always the gorgeous. Gang. The gang and lobsters. The gang is here, Nancy. Nancy, lobsters you ready? Just don't happen no, to understand that. No, lobster in the pot. The Come the on, everyone's over. Perf. The rest of the world. Is lobsters are being made. Cause we love to entertain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Siobhan the transsexual over. <laughs> Honey, Siobhan's here with her family. Come on, Siobhan, join the gang. Come on, we're having lobsters in the pot. <laughs> it's just one of those things we've always done. You know, it's nice to be doing a little bit better so we can really do them. But we always did it anyway. You know, instead of hot dogs and hamburgers, we're having lobster and steak. But it's basically the same party. Now that he's a success, he can have lobster and steak. Because Nancy got him to the top. <laughs> the gang. Yeah. Thanks to Howard. So we blast the music a little bit and everybody sings. And we like to get around the piano. It, you know, it's funny. We get a little older. You're not quite as loose. So we don't. No, I think you're very loose. Start banging on the piano quite as quickly or drag out the guitars as quickly as we probably should. Oh. As we but, should. Uh, they neglect getting to that. Yeah. <laughs> what do they have to get to? <laughs> They're too busy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the parties, we should get to those guitars right away. It's important. <laughs> do you, do you, does he go on way too long? Is this, like a guy's interviewing you, does he go on way too long about like his parties and... and uh, That's the question. I know. I, know. <laughs> I mean, it's just going on and on and on. Yeah, well, you know, we it's, you know, it's I not... I mean, because he was talking about the house. Mm, and everything is money to him. It's like, you know, 
We used to have hot dogs and hamburgers, but now it's lobster and steak. They still do the same thing. It's just lobsters and steaks instead of hamburgers and hot dogs. Because we're doing a little better now. (laughs) (sighs) Who analyzes it that much? I mean, people like coming over, you know. No, it's still going. It's loose, and it, we, it's fun to have well, different kinds of friends, all well, different kinds of friends, mm. you know. Like yeah, sure. Rich friends, poor friends, talented See, friends. Money. Friends that watch, you know, and the, the family. Friends that good, watch. You know, get... Friends that watch. We have friends that watch, others. Others play. <laughs> we probably don't get to the piano as quickly as we should. <laughs> 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 For the watchers. <laughs> you know, they like to watch us at the piano. We have some people that like to participate. <laughs> they to try to engage them. Father singing and my mother makes people laugh. And oh, yeah. It made me laugh. It's something I've always done and always laughed. I saw her sitting in a lawn chair. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I, I always laugh. I always laugh when I see Jackie's mother. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll never forget the best time hmm. for me was when she was sitting there watching the TV. Yeah. In the middle of, like, the 4th of July celebration, I go into the house and Jackie's mother sitting alone in front of the television... And I and she's just watching the news on Channel 12. Right. And I say to her, what are you doing? And she says, well, Jackie's going to come on this station, and I don't want to miss him. <laughs> this was the middle of the afternoon. He was coming on at 7.30. I know. Well, she had to be geared up she for it. She didn't want to miss him. Hey, she loves her son. <laughs> My parents always entertained, and Nancy's parents always entertained. It's just... We have entertaining in our what board. we do. And I, yeah. I don't know... If there's a specific reason or whatever. Jackie, all of America entertains yeah, and has people to the house. He's amazed by this. A specific reason why we've, they do that. We've always entertained. I guess it goes back to the Martlet, the great, great grandfather, Nipsey O'Martling. Pappy O'Martling. Oh, Pappy O'Martling. <laughs> <laughs> First aid to came in 1853. Had people over to the house. And I don't know, I guess Nancy's family always entertained too. So we entertain. Grandpapa Sirianni. <laughs> yeah, from France. <laughs> from Remulac. <laughs> <laughs> we all entertained. Her parents are funny. My parents are funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all entertained. I don't know if it's just something about us. <laughs> Most people don't entertain. We entertain. <laughs> We're entertainers. It's not even like he's talking about show business. He's talking about having friends over his house. <laughs> There's a lot of people who do that. Yeah, nobody tra- else has a piano. He's trying to trace his roots of entertaining. You know, it was great grandpa Jacques Cousteau Martin <laughs> who owned a pub in Ireland. I mean, we don't do it every week, but we like doing it. What a, man, that was a long. About. Those party. silly get-togethers in his backyard. Jackie's got an empty life. You know, I'd like to talk about going to the bathroom, if I may. <laughs> I like to do it every day. Nancy loves to go. <laughs> Big sidewinder. Oh, Gotta chop it up with an axe one time. <laughs> it's wild. Bull one. Well, I got out my, my uh, plunger. It's the only thing I could find to chop it up with. <laughs> And uh, Nancy tells me our family has done this, you know, throughout history. Bunny bones tonight. <laughs> I don't know why this just happens to us. Maybe it's just us. Mm. <laughs> all right, you want to? All right, let, since we're running out of time, yes, you want to? Yes, must move on. You want to hear a discussion of what you get for stumping Jackie? What prizes when you go to see him live? Do you want to hear advice to aspiring comedians? Advice. All right. Okay. Me too. <laughs> the entire documentary will be on 951 tomorrow. Uh, are you going to be talking about the documentary tonight in uh, Philadelphia? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Like I, sure. like I have a choice. Nancy and I love to entertain. So many people say to me, <laughs> I sure. really want to be a comedian. I get a lot of letters at the Howard Stern show. I get people coming up to me at gigs. Jackie, I want to be a comedian. This is serious. This is now. This is real serious. Is there crickets? Is- yeah, I hear crickets, I swear to God. Dude, Did wait, you wait, see wait. this at home? Wait, let me hear this. Yeah, is that crickets? Yes, I was sitting in uh, my living room. I was sitting on the ship robe down by the cement pond. <laughs> crickets in his living room. We got the windows, Howard. You know what they tell him? I got some central air in that shanty. 
<laughs> now that you're doing better. Less lobster and steak. Maybe Less more. crabs are crawling across the grill. Peppy Yoakum of that porch. I get crickets. They are crickets. Yes. It's basil. Beautiful. That's a movie. I've always said that. I've, I was so funny my entire life. Uh-oh. Until the day I became a comedian. So funny. I always sat around at dinner parties and fooled around my friends and told jokes and, and was just the life of the party my entire life. And then I became a comedian. And right after I became a comedian, like maybe a month later, six months later, I don't know what it was, but I went to a, out, to, out to a restaurant with about six or eight friends. And we're sitting around and we're having a few drinks and fooling around. Always some drinks. There's always drinks involved. If, there wasn't, if it wasn't for drink, Jackie wouldn't have had a life. <laughs> no. Nothing would have ever happened to him. Yeah, we went to a restaurant. We didn't oh, serve no, any alcohol, no, so no, nothing no, happened. No. Have you yeah. ever heard a story of something happening to Jackie that didn't start with drinks? It's always drinks. <laughs> it's always drinks. There's always drinking going on. <laughs> we let that people over and drink and piano. And we don't get to the piano because we're drinking. This is the thirstiest man <laughs> in the country. There's no one There's no one who swallows more oh, fluid than Jackie Martin. Martin. Like, Turn this on. Have you ever heard him? <laughs> <laughs> if he went with a girl, it was because of <laughs> Drink. If he was with a guy, it was because of drink. Every one of his stories in life. Now, now a big story. He's about to be. He's, he announced that he's a comedian, yeah. and he's at a restaurant with some drinks. And we had some drinks. And usually with drinks, <laughs> I'm very funny. <laughs> but this time, even though there were drinks, all of a sudden, I found myself telling them a few jokes, which I had done my entire life. All of a sudden, I'm telling them a few jokes. In the middle of the joke, I got this cold wave, this up my back, like. What am I doing? My act for my friends? But I wasn't. I was doing what I'd always done every time. I've always gone out to dinner, but I'm in the middle of a joke. Because you tell a joke. I Sounds like a real crisis. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I got a man. What happened to him after this? Did he have what a nervous I, breakdown? What am I doing? Am I telling a joke? Am I doing my act for my friends? Oh! <laughs> That's like, remember when I made the mistake of going to dinner with him? Yes. Remember when he goes, we're discussing business. No business! Because we, we started talking about a pay-per-view event or something, or one of the video tapes we were working on. And I was like, see, business! What are you talking about now? A joke. He tells a joke, and I was like, I'm going through my act. Because, of course, my act was my best jokes, and what are you going to do with dinner is your best jokes. And it was like, How about lightening up and not telling any jokes? Yeah, let somebody else act. Hey, I know you guys are eating, but uh, this guy goes into a whorehouse. <laughs> you know. Sorry, we don't need to hear jokes. I know guys like that, especially my dad knows guys like that who love to tell jokes. They can't sit still. If there's a quiet moment, yeah. they hit you. I got a joke. I, yeah, and they always have like, like you know, why did the chicken cross the street? You know, do they have like a, a joke? Yeah. It makes people very unpopular. It's, it's, it's enough. Who wants to hear jokes every minute? You got to laugh at all these jokes. That's why we don't hang you gotta out. You got to force it. And it's like, you know, your whole life now, it's like you say something funny, like, hey, can I use that? I don't know. Yeah, could I work? You know? Hmm. So what was the advice? No advice. Don't go into comedy? Don't <laughs> you go out be, to... You won't yeah. be at dinners anymore? You want to hear about Jackie's future? <laughs> Please. All right, all right, will he tell us or will he get diverted again and never answer the question? He's a tease. What do I plan on? <laughs> what do I plan on? Um, what my... like, like there is a future. He's 10 years away from retirement. <laughs> The guy's 60 years old. Yeah, maybe he'll tell us about his retirement. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I see myself as an astronaut. We're going to get a little condo in Florida. Yeah, me and Nance. With our bong. Nance is going to hold me down and make me get a condo in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Media goals. I do the Stump the Joke Man, which is very, very funny. All right. Everybody loves it. I see no reason why I can't be on one of the major cable stations, obviously because... It's, mm. What's funny is when it's blue. Uh, girls and innocent girls telling dirty jokes, very filthy jokes. It's very funny. They're innocent jokes. They're, 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 I don't know. I can't take any more of this interview. It's too much Jackie. They're innocent or filthy. I don't know. I can't, you know what? I'm Jackied out. I really, I, tomorrow, I promise you, I'll play some more. I'm just, I'm Jackie. For a copy of this documentary, call 516-9221. Is that right? You're marketing it? He's selling this? It's just dawned on him. Now he's got to. Wait a minute. I smell sales. <laughs> Hey, who farted? I thought it. You know, I just realized something. <laughs> While we're talking here, an idea came to me. I can market this. Funny bone tonight at 8.30. Nancy and I will put no. our heads together and we'll come up with this great product. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting at the dinner table saying, you anti-social, <laughs> low-life bastard. Robin does the best, Jackie. <laughs> you know, it's almost like Don Knotts when you do it. Yeah. It's good.
<laughs> yes, she does. She does the best Jackie. Better than me. Let me see. Nancy now put her head together. She'll hold me down. And then we'll uh, have a video. This documentary will be on. It'll be on. Say you get it through 9221. Funny bones. Thank God for Nancy. I hope you're Funny bones tonight in Philadelphia. Turn on my mic. Turn on my mic. Let me say something. <laughs> and then when he says something, he has nothing to say. Nothing. 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 <laughs> no defense. <laughs> All right, Jackie, enough of you. We'll go on to someone else. Fred, you're next. The whole show should just be me picking on Jackie and Fred. Oh, and Gary. What do you mean it should be? <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Let's do the news. All right. Even though we've done half the news already. <laughs> I know. We'll be back right after this.